Clown Harry. Meghan takes terrible punch from Piers Morgan for brutally exploiting royal status. Piers Morgan has hit out at Meghan Markle on social media for ruthlessly exploiting Prince Harry, as the presenter addressed the Duchess' economic status. Piers Morgan lashed out on Twitter today after it was announced Meghan Markle, 40, will speak on women reaching economic and professional parity at an online summit. The former Good Morning Britain presenter has claimed that the Duchess of Sussex has exploited Prince Harry's royal status to benefit financially. Taking to the microblogging site, Piers, 56, shared an article that highlighted Meghan's latest move. The mother of two will discuss solutions to reaching economic and professional parity. She will appear in a half-hour session called Minding the Gap alongside Melody Hobson, co-CEO and president of Aerial Investments and the chairwoman of Starbucks Corporation. It comes after Meghan bought Starbucks coffee for employees working overtime to campaign for paid family and medical leave in the U.S. In view of his 7.9 million followers, Piers fumed, nothing better promotes women reaching economic and professional parity than giving up work, marrying a rich British prince, and ruthlessly exploiting his royal status, whilst trashing the institution that grants it, to make hundreds of millions of dollars. The ex-GMB host didn't provide any examples of his claim following his tweet. Meghan, who is a philanthropist and humanitarian, was a successful actress in the hit series Suits before she tied the knot with the Duke of Sussex. She entered the marriage to Prince Harry financially independent, with an estimated net worth of around $5 million. The couple first stepped back from their roles as senior royals in 2019. The duo has since signed a Netflix deal to produce projects including children's shows, documentaries and feature films. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also signed a three-year deal with Spotify. In March, the couple sat down with Oprah Winfrey and addressed their decision to step down from the royal family. They have since carved out a new life together in Montecito, California, with their two children Archie and Lilibet. Meanwhile, Meghan is set to join the panel for Minding the Gap alongside speakers that include Anthony Blinken, U.S. Secretary of State, as well as the CEO for Pfizer Albert Baller. The lineup also sees a host of other stars speaking including Matthew McConaughey and Dex Shepard, with whom Prince Harry gave an explosive interview with for his Armchair Expert podcast. Days ago, the Duchess gifted workers, a group running a national campaign to win paid family and medical leave by 2022, a $25 Starbucks voucher through her non-profit organization Archul. Earlier this month, Meghan penned an impassioned plea to senior Congress members on proposed parental and sick leave legislation. She wrote, I'm not an elected official, and I'm not a politician. I am, like many, an engaged citizen and a parent. And because you and your congressional colleagues have a role in shaping family outcomes for generations to come, that's why I'm writing to you at this deeply important time, as a mom, to advocate for paid leave. Thomas Markle Jr. couldn't stop himself making a cheeky dig at his half-sister Meghan Markle and her husband Prince Harry as he set up home in the Big Brother VIP Australia house. Thomas laughed as he explained to the cameras why he's famous. He said, I'm Thomas Markle Jr., my sister is Meghan Markle, Prince Harry is my brother-in-law. That's how I got famous. He added, the letter that I wrote to Prince Harry was 100% honest and heartfelt. You can't treat your family like you are embarrassed at where they come from. She's very selfish, self-centered, I think she's very shallow. You are never too good for anybody ever. It's rude to treat people like that. Thomas had been seen in a trailer for the reality show writing a letter to Meghan and Harry. It was a cheeky reference to the 2018 open letter he wrote to Harry, saying his wedding would be the biggest mistake in royal wedding history. The letter, shared with magazine, read, As more time passes to your royal wedding, it becomes very clear that this is the biggest mistake in royal wedding history.